What's up guys, this is Seth from Darkwater's Fly Shop. I'm gonna do a little demonstration for you on how I make some sink tips. I had a video on my channel from uh, a little over a year ago on doing this and I found a couple ways to make it quicker, do an improved job of it and make it easier for you guys all around. The reason why I use these sink tips is because there's many times when I'm fishing in situations where my streamers or my subservice presentations don't get down far enough in a fast current. Um, sometimes I wanna swing a little muddler minnow say, maybe even something as small as that, but I wanna get it under the surface more. I've got super fast water, I know there's fish there and I can't get it into the zone. Um, you'll be using floating line and you can't get it that floating line, you either got to switch a spool, you got to carry another spool of sinking line. What are you going to do? Intermediate line. So what I do is I order um, this stuff. It's called Airflow, and it's a Skagit head. So it's for spay casting, but they make custom sink tips. You can go on Amazon. You can buy it. You can go to a local fly shop and try to get it. But basically, it's a black tungsten core line that comes like this. I'll buy like 18 or 20 feet of it at a time. And what I do is I cut it into sp I cut it into sections. Um, based on the amount of length that I want for current speed. So sometimes I'll cut these into like two foot sections. Sometimes I'll cut them into four foot sections. And even in some cases, I'll use them in like six or eight foot sections, depending on the speed of the current that I'm fishing and how deep I want to get it. Um, all I'm going to do is I cut this to a certain length. So this one I've got right here is probably four feet. All right, so it's folded in half here. I've got the two ends right here. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some monofilament. Um, for an example for you right now, all I've got is some uh, Maxima Chameleon. Uh, it's 25 pounds, so this stuff's super strong. The reason why I use uh, like 20 or 25 pound monofilament is because um, it just, I'll never break my sink tip connection. So all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put a perfection loop inside this um, chameleon line. So I have a small perfection loop at the end here. I'm just going to secure that down. Make sure that that's tight. That's not going anywhere. Okay. So that's a small perfection loop. I'm going to clip that off. So that's what we have there. What we're going to do is we're going to join that to this sink tip with just that loop on the end with a, a nail knot. So I'm going to cut this off of here. I've got my nail knot tool handy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, tie up a nail knot for you here real quick okay okay so there's my nail knot coming through here I'm gonna take the end of that sink tip I'm gonna slide it in there like so I'm gonna wet it like that I'm gonna take this pop it off of there boom if I can I'll slide it down. I can't on that one. Sometimes I'll try to do that nail knot a little loose so that I can slide it on a reef on that that way. And now the end of my sink tip is right here. That's the nail knot. If I get that to focus. That's the end of my sink tip. That's my loop. So that's my connection there. And then I'm gonna come back. And sometimes if I can get that closer, I will. I'll try to get that nail knot maybe right up alongside it. It's not that big of a deal to me. Two options you have here. If you're using a sink tip, you can take floral carbon. You can nail knot that and then just leave four or five feet and then just attach your fly straight to that. Um, what happens to me when I'm using those streamers is sometimes they twist. If I'm using big streamers, I like to use large drunken disorderlies or different things. And every once in a while, their action will cause them to twist up my fluorocarbon. So in some cases, like in this one here, I put fluorocarbon on the end of this. I nail knotted it straight to the other end. So one knot has like the factory loop on it. The other end is nail knotted here with fluorocarbon and I went down to Aquatico's Invisa Swivel so that I can just attach my tippet section to that. If the streamer twists up, it's not gonna twist up all my line. It's gonna come out in that fluorocarbon swivel. That's an Invisa Swivel. I have other videos on that product as well. So one more time to complete this one that I'm working on, I put a perfection loop in this piece here and I'm gonna do my nail knot again. This one I'm gonna do a little bit closer for you so you can see how that works. Okay, coming through here. Here's one end of my sink tip that has the Maxima Chameleon 25 pound loop. There's one end of it, and I'm just gonna take this perfection loop, I'm gonna put it on the other end of this sink tip. 
done. And so that right there is my sink tip. You can do these in any length that you want and they work perfect for streamer presentation, especially in small streams. So there's a nail knot and my perfection loop on one end. This will just junction knot to your main line on your fly rod. And then this is the other one, but this right here is a four foot, maybe four and a half foot section of sink tip that you can attach right to your main line on the go. Disconnect your tippet, connect this, and then put your rest of your tippet on there, tie your fly, you're gonna sink down, you're gonna be able to swing that through the stream, do whatever you wanna do. You can make long ones, you can make short ones. That's it for you guys, check it out.